All aboard, it's Jang here with a look at a Playmobil room and furniture set. This is the Grand Kitchen, comes with 97 pieces. Once again, I'm not really big on packaging myself, but it is worthwhile to hit pause here on your own time to check out just the full display of all the things that are included in this set because it's a lot and there are a lot of small details. I personally am going to focus on showing all of this stuff in place in the large Grand Mansion set that I've previously reviewed in empty form. Now this set does include one adult figure who I think is supposed to be like the grandma of the family, and there's also a toddler and one dog. Obviously these are not just directly tied to this particular set and they can be used in other scenarios. Looking at everything in context, let's first just take care of the stuff that's closest to us. So they do have a couple of bowls for the dog, one for water, one for food. There's a narrow table here which has one leg at one end and then four legs at the other end with just a small little bit of, of storage under there on a shelf. You get those two chairs with the round design to them. There's one on the opposite side. And here are some food items and also some some items for, for holding them. There's also a high chair there for the toddler and the milk bottle for, uh, for feeding the toddler is actually included in the set as well. With the table and chairs removed, you can also more clearly see this large mat that's included and that's in the kind of synthetic paper material that they use to make sails for their large ships. There's also a better look at the print on the sides of the high chair. Now we get to where things become a lot more complex. Let's move on to the refrigerator and freezer unit. The styling here on the outside is kind of old and dated, but when you open it up, everything works just fine as far as how it looks. You've got three shelves in there, well, two shelves that are up above, and you can also put things down below. And you've got compartments in the door where you can store additional things. And I'll show you all the items that are included here that have stickers on them. I'll show you those separately a little bit later on. You've also got a little bundle of eggs, kind of an awkward bundle of eggs or four of them that are just stuck together up above rather than putting them into uh, kind of in line. The freezer section is down below and that's just one larger compartment. Next there's a small countertop and cabinet section and also a larger corner cabinet section that mostly just gives you a top surface. Inside of here you'll find a whole bunch of utensils just eating implements so they've got a, a bunch of different uh, forks and knives and spoons there that you can use to feed an entire family. Just m more of the smaller details up on the on the top there. In the back is a coffee maker complete with a coffee pot or decanter there and it's just a, a few pieces that go together. More counter space but this here is one of the cooler things to me in the whole set. It's a dishwasher and that comes pre-printed so you don't have to put any sticker on there and when you open this up it looks even nicer on the inside because it has a little tray. And you can pull that tray out and it's pretty nicely detailed. You can hold some, uh, some dishes in there and also some utensils down on the side. Then there's a large stainless steel sink with a cabinet unit down below it. There's an oven to the right with a stove top above it with some cooking implements. And this is another piece that comes already pre-printed. No sticker to add to the front of that. Inside I've got a tray with another just kind of a, a basting pot inside of it I think. And there's some poultry that's in there that's being roasted up. And then to the side, again, more food items. Another small little cabinet section. I guess that could be where a, a garbage uh, can would be put, but there's nothing actually inside of there right now. Let's see if I can get this open. See, it's just a, a small, narrow space. Another little bit of storage off to the right for some bottles there. And they also include this dustpan and, and brush for keeping the place clean. There's a small wall mounted cabinet or small miniature pantry as well above the sink and that's actually attached directly to the wall. Although this set does include a clear stand if you're not going to be using this stuff with the grand mansion so it'll allow you to still have that elevated up. Here's the promised look at all the food items that have stickers as well as a few other things. The stickers are not pre-applied. You have to put those on yourself but they're numbered so it's easy to get them lined up. Looks like I forgot about the two green apples that are on the table. One very last thing is that push broom back in the corner. That's also included in this set. But I think that does it. I think that covers all the major components of this grand kitchen room set. 
in place in the large grand mansion set. It, uh, I've previously reviewed in empty form, so it's good to get more stuff in here. I really like how much food is included in this kitchen set, including stuff that's that's packaged, you know, not just food that, that's out and, and fresh produce and stuff, which is pretty common, but, you know, processed food and packaged food and stuff, it really looks good in context. I think it's a, a good set to get for that stuff. The, the chairs and the table, I think, work out nicely, still allowing you enough room to place your figures around there. It doesn't take up too much space, doesn't try to turn the kitchen into a combined dining room as well, which would be kind of rough. Uh, Definitely my favorite feature here is the little dishwasher. Just It looks nice on the outside and looks nice on the inside as well. I like how that all just comes together. My least favorite feature here is the refrigerator, just by virtue of the really, really, really old style doors on there. I mean, they almost almost look wooden to me, which I think, you know, just, just the general styling of it is, is very extremely outdated. Uh, it could just be kind of a, a classic thing that they're they're trying to, to hold on to, which makes sense, but I would like to see those updated over time in the future. But let me know what you think about this set and its components. Thank you very much for your time in watching the video up to this point. Hope that you'll leave your feedback. It's always appreciated, and I'll be talking to you again very soon.